Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn about the string slicing in Python. String slicing is a very important concept and we'll be using string slicing a lot in the test automation and in general Python programming. You need to understand string slicing very effectively. So I'll take a real example. Say for example, you have a loaf of bread and you want to slice the loaf of bread, right? So you basically you can start from the beginning and then slice it up to the end or you can slice it in up to the middle or you can start from middle and you can end somewhere in the middle. So this is how the bread slicing works. And when we talk about the string slicing, so a string in Python is array that you can utilize or you can use the index to manipulate the values within the string or the characters within the string. So when we talk about the slicing, slicing will use the indexes because strings are array so we can use indexes to find the first index the value at the first index the last index and we do similar concept to slice the string same way as we slice the bread we slice the string to get a substring from the beginning till the mid or from the mid till certain index or from the beginning till end or from the other side right so this is how the slicing usually works and if you correlate it with the bread slicing it's it's perfectly fine, right? So, so let me quickly create a new Python file and I'll name it as string slicing. All right, and hit enter. And here I have quickly created a string. So let me copy it and paste it here. So here, if you see the top three lines, so basically how slicing works is so as a string data type, uh, a string is an array in Python, so we can use the indexes. So usually any string will be either in the double quote. So here you can see that this is the array of characters. So basically this is the string because I have put it in the double quotes here. So I can put the single quotes or uh, I can put the string in the double quotes, right? So I can also define the string with single quote so i can do something like that so i've already explained this concept in the string section so if you haven't watched that please go through and watch it so this is how i will define string now these are strings and these are the string um, the variables s and y that hold these strings so let me remove one of this now when we talk about the slicing so you can see the slicing we usually this is the format so uh, the square bracket so whatever the string name the square bracket and within the square bracket i have to specify the indexes so slice of this particular string so for example this is the string so this is the whole string which is stored in the variable s so slice of this s string from i and j and where i and j are the indexes the next format is about the uh, i and j and then there is a step so you can step the indexes as well so we'll understand all of that so this is a simplified form says uh, substring or basically slice of a string from star index end index and the step so things are optional here so let's quickly go ahead and understand all of these slicing concept and how you will get the content of the string so say for example i want to get the value or uh, i want to get the value of this string at a zeroth index so i can simply provide the zeroth index and if you see that array uh, index starts from zero so at the zeroth index we should be having w right so we are having w if i run this i will get the w got printed now if i have to get the last element i simply start with minus one right so if you specify minus one what it does is it starts from the end and it will print y in this particular case right so this is how we get the values from the string now if we have to pick a slice so what we have to do is we have to simply start or start providing the index so say for example i want to get a slice of this particular string starting from index 0 and ending at um you know index 8 so 8 is not inclusive so what it does is it gets the first eight characters right so it will start from zero but end at seven so it will do zero one two three four five six and then space seven so it will give me this particular result okay so if i run this 
you will see only welcome and then there is a space basically space is considered as well so that will get printed so for example if i put one more or two double e's there so now you will see only two e's should get printed so the third e will get removed so that's how this works so it doesn't include the index the last index that you put in there so this is how we start from the beginning and slice the string now if say for example i want to start somewhere from the mid right so i can specify the index accordingly so for example i want to start from four and end at eight so it will start from four so zero one two three uh, zero one two three four and then uh, it includes four five six and seven and it excludes eight so o m e e got printed right so this is how you can slice the substring from the string now coming back to the step right so what step does is it will step the value so for example here i want to step one okay so it will print the same thing so what it does is it starts from four which is basically o and then steps one the next value is m next character is m so it prints m and then follows accordingly but if i change this step to two so in this particular case it will step two characters and will move to the next character that is available right so it will go ahead and start from four which is o then it will omit m because it has to step two so after o then it steps two it comes to e right and it prints e and after e it again omits and because after this e the index has finished because we have specified eight in that particular case so only o e got printed now say for example i want to print this whole string okay so to print this whole string i do not have to specify indexing at all so just print s will print the whole thing now the other way with the indexing if say for example i want to specify strings uh, index and print the whole string i can simply put zero and then colon so i can have the values optional so in this particular case i do not i'm not specifying the end index so in this particular case it will by default go up to the end if i want to specify the end index then um, it will take or it will omit the last value because if i specify minus one minus one is this particular value and as we have understood that the last or the j index will be ignored so it will only start from zero up to the value that is ahead of this particular last index so in this case it will just print the whole string and leave y if we want the whole string we simply leave this blank all right we can also do this so in this particular case we have not provided any value and you can see the whole string got printed so either using this print or doing this is exactly same okay so this is more about how you play around and the more you will play around with this string slicing and the functions and how you, you can um, apply these concepts in the actual string the more you will learn okay so this is more about the practice and the more practice you will do, the more uh, better you will become at the string slicing and overall Python programming. Now, I can also use the negative indexes to get the last part of the string. So as we have already seen that the negative one is the last value in this particular string. Now, say so for example, I want to get the last part of the string, I can use the indexes accordingly. So for example, whatever the index a is at i can start from there and then i can go up to the end okay so uh, if i just want to print academy in this particular case so i can get the index number here say for example the index is 20 for it and then i can just leave it as colon and blank to get the whole word okay so this is hypothetical so whatever value whatever value or the character is at index it will print from there till the end so this this has printed right so let me change it to 40 and see 
what it prints in this particular case you can see rcv academy so one two three four so now i think if i change it to 44 then it should print academy right so you can see it has printed academy so what it does is it basically starts from this 44th index and goes up to the end now so for example i want to use the negative value so i can do that from the end as well so this minus one uh, index contains y so minus two minus three minus four five six seven so minus seven contains a so i can specify something like minus seven and then colon and it should print me the same word so it has printed academy because it started from minus seven and printed up to the end if I want to be specific of the end index, I can specify the end index that only print from seven minus seven um, and then finish uh, prior to two. So in this particular case, it will have minus seven, six, five, four, and three because minus two is not inclusive and minus two contains M. So M should not get printed, right? So this is these are the some key things to remember and understand in the string slicing okay now very very important very important interview question of strings uh, or slicing or reversing the string in python is um, very much asked so it is very very simple so say for example i want to reverse a string so this is the string and i want to reverse it in python we have very very simple command right so i will simply leave the start and end index as blank so I want to consider the whole string and then in the step I will step from the negative part so so from the negative index from the end of the string so if I want to um, reverse the string so what I'll say is I will simply put the step value as minus one okay so what this does is we are getting a slice of a string starting from beginning till end but stepping from the reverse order and stepping one in the reverse order minus one so if i run this now you will see that it has completely reversed the string for us okay so y m e d a c a so that's that's all possible in python and reversing a string is very very simple task so we just have to specify the step field or step value in the slice operator as negative one okay so this is how you will reverse the string. Now, the practical application of this slicing and all in automation is very important to understand. Now, we'll be using this when we read certain values. So most of the time you will be having a comma separated file. So comma separated file will have uh, uh, values that are comma separated. So something say, for example, welcome comma to comma. Now, let me create a new string. To make it more clear so say for example you are testing a particular application and the application has values which are comma separated so for say for example name and then comma I would say age and then uh, city okay so say for example there are three values which are comma separated and with this slicing um, operator or slice uh, Python slicing string slicing we can use other methods or other functions that are available and easily slice this particular string and get the relevant value say so for example i just want to get the name and the age and city i want to push it to the excel file okay or use it in my code further so how will i approach this so say for example the there is a delimiter right so delimiter is basically comma so if i am able to figure out the first comma and get the value or uh, just slice it up to the comma then i'll get the name of that particular person okay so how i will do it say for for example there is a method index so i can say s dot index okay and then i can specify the not the s because we have defined the y string and i can say comma index of comma that's what we are looking for okay it's in the quotes let me put it in single quotes so comma that's what we are looking for okay so if i run this now 
you will see the index of comma is 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So comma is at index 4. So now if I have to just slice the name out of this string, what I'll do is I'll simply print it out. So I will say y and then here I will say just starting will be 0. Okay. And then end index is whatever the index that I'll get the first comma wherever that particular is. So I'll say y dot index and run it. Okay. So if I run this now, you will say name, uh, you will see name or printed, right? So because in the slice operator, I've specified the starting index, which is basically zero. So n starts at zero. And then at the end uh, or in the n index, I'm specifying the index of the comma, right? So whatever uh, index that I get of this comma, I'm specifying it at the end index and I'm getting this particular name, the slice of this particular whole string. Okay. Now, similarly, you can do or achieve for the age and the city as well. Okay, so practice more and the more you practice, the more comfortable you will become with the slice operator and how to use slicing with the strings in Python. This is very important concept. We'll be using it a lot into the Selenium Python automation. So practice this properly and I hope this was clear and helpful. Thank you very much for watching.